Are you working as a domestic worker in the UAE? There are three things that you must know. There are three things. Hi guys, welcome back to yet another video. It's Mix from the Mix Creation TV, giving you all the updates and giving you all the information that are going to help you to improve yourself in one way or the other. In today's video, we are looking at the three things that you should know if you're working as a maid in the UAE. If you're working as a maid or if you're working what you call the domestic work in the UAE, what are you supposed to know? What three things that are very mandatory that you should have in your fingerprints? This is what we have to, we, this is what we're going to talk about. By the way, if you've not subscribed and you've not turned on the notification uh, bell to this channel, please do that. Please do me a favor and do that. It's the only way that will be updated when I upload a new video. Yes, first of all, if you're going to work as a domestic worker or you're going to work as a, uh, a domestic worker or a maid in the UA, something that you should know, first of all, is the contract duration. What is your contract duration? Yes, most of us we underestimate. Most of us we do not, uh, we, we do not go as far as that to realize what is the contract duration. You just go in for the sake, but you need to know what is your contract duration and how are you going to finish up that duration. Let's say, for example, you have a two years duration. You have a three years duration. Or you have what you call a five year duration and something out of what you call the contract duration it's going to help you that in case you are to resign without finishing your contract what are you supposed to do in case you are to resign after finishing your contract what will be the uh, wh wh what will you do after or what steps will you have to for, to take further but remember in some situation to some to to uh, to some situation in, if you are a maid or if you are a domestic worker in the UAE and you, 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 you resign without finishing your contract and you do not have what you call a valid reason, you will have to pay what you call a penalty. Hope you are getting me clear. If you do not have a valid reason, you may end up having to pay a penalty to your employer. Then in case two, if you had to resign before even finishing up what you call your duration period or your contract period and you have a genuine valid reason, then you will be entitled to even what you call your full salary when you have to go at one or the other, which is quite very good. So not the duration of the contract, that is number two, number one. Number two, make sure that the employer is the same employer on your visas should be the same employer for that mission if for example the visa the visa if your visa mentions uh, mr mix as your sponsor let it be the one that is your sponsor at that time however to some situation you may find that it is illegal it's not acceptable whereby you are being you are being recruited by mix or you are being recruited by one sponsor, then you are taken to work for another sponsor. Like some of people who are definitely will agree with me, some of you, that you are recruited from this family, then you are taken to work for another family. That is illegal. That is again going what you call, again is what you call your, your rise at one or the other. And to some other extent, for example, if, for example, it's a family being sponsored by an agency, for example, if it's a family that's being sponsored by an agency and that one is going to be your sponsor, then probably for that case, it will be quite very okay. So you should definitely know that is the company, uh, is the family or is the, what I'm, the house I'm working for or whatever I'm working, are they my visa sponsor? If not that, you need to get what you call clarification to avoid problems that may come in or to avoid anything at one way or the other. Then number three, we look at uh, not all what you call employers fall the law. Let's say, for example, there are lots of laws we get to follow. When you look at the labor laws in uh, most of these Gulf countries, uh, Qatar, Dubai, Oman, yes, but just know that not all employers will follow the law. Remember, you still have the right to educate your employer about the law in case you definitely know whatever you are binding on is what we call the right. The right 
the right procedure, you still have that right to educate the employer that you to follow the law because you definitely it's going to be your life and it's going to be yourself in one way or the other. Remember, remember, if still you do not follow the law, if still you do not want to follow the law, you know, normally have three choices either to stay, complain, or leave. Okay. If you think your employer is not following the law, however much you've tried to go inside, uh, it is three things that you have, what you call the three choices. It is either to stay, to complain, or to leave uh, the employer because you are not a slave of that employer. Then you move on to look for other better options in one way or the other. Thank you so much for coming back to the channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation giving you all what you call the latest updates or giving you the updates. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.